Hey guys, I'm Apurva from uh, GMERS Medical College, Ahmedabad, and this day I'll be taking your physiology. Guys, since these are pre recorded videos, you cannot ask me to stop and repeat something, so always feel free to ask your coordinator to pause or rewind uh, if it's needed or you might have not understood. Or in the end of the class, you can always mail me back that I have not understood and we can discuss that. And it's always uh, advisable to have a printed or e copy of this presentation which I am using because we are doing this stuff uh, in a little fast manner because we have a sort of limited time. Okay, so tighten up your seat belts and be ready. Let's go. Alright, guys, let's begin with intercellular communication. There are two ways by which two cells can communicate. One is the chemical mediator is secreted by one cell, it goes out of the cell into the extracellular fluid and attaches to the receptor of the another cell. The second method being by the gap junction. In this, the ions would have to just travel by the gap junction. That means the ions doesn't go to the extracellular space. That means this is the faster way of communication. The chemical mediators which are released by the cell and which are going into the extracellular fluid are called the extracellular ligand and since these are the first molecule which brings about the biological change in the another cell these are called the first messenger who are second messenger they are the intracellular components which are present inside the cell and by definition these are generally those which activate the protein kinase for example cyclic amp which activates protein kinase a or cyclic gmp which activates protein kinase g or inositol triphosphate or diacylglycerol all right we'll talk more about the cyclic gmp pathway nitric oxide also called endothelial derived relaxing factor it is derived from the nerve ending or from the endothelial cells its main function is relaxation of smooth muscle be it of gi or around the arteries which will result into the vasodilatation which is very important in penile erection let's say nitric oxide is released by nerve ending and it is taken up by the penile smooth muscle it will activate guanyl cyclase which converts gtp into cyclic gmp which in turn relaxes the smooth muscle once the smooth muscle are relaxed the blood will enter into the penis and it will undergo erection right here is the another group of uh, compounds which is released by the endothelium itself but in contrast to nitric oxide it constrict the vessel right now let's talk very briefly about receptors they are divided into three types the g protein coupled receptors which are seven pass receptors also called serpentine receptor which passes seven times within the cell membrane example adrenergic receptor or dopamine or gaba b right next one being single pass receptor which passes single time within the cell membrane for example tyrosine kinase the next one being ligand gated ion channel here the ligand is GABA which binds to the GABA A let's suppose once the GABA binds to GABA A it will result into the influx of chloride which result in inhibition of the neuron and the way by which we measure the current of a single ion channel is by patch clamp technique now adrenergic receptor can be broadly classified into stimulatory or inhibitory if it is stimulatory it can be alpha 1 or beta 1 if it is inhibitory it is alpha 2 or beta 2 right beta 1 receptors are found importantly at three places heart juxtaglomerular apparatus of kidney and the lipocytes have modified beta 1 receptors which are called beta 3 receptors and alpha 2 receptors are importantly found at presynaptic membranes right so all of the following are transmission along the extracellular fluid except the gap junction right which of the following is not a peptide look serotonin is a monoamine which is derived from tryptophan it only has one amino acid and peptides are chain of long amino acid right so i have I numbered the amino acid which are present in the respective um, options so serotonin is a single amino acid not a peptide a neurotransmitter 
All our second messenger except guanyl cyclase look cyclic GMP is second messenger not guanyl cyclase. Action of nitric oxide in gastrointestinal tract is to relax the smooth muscle. All our troop of nitric oxide it act except it acts through cyclic AMP. Nope, it acts through cyclic GMP. Endothelium one all it result in vasoconstriction yes vasoconstriction in the renal system will result in decreased gfr it has little bit of positive anotropic effect if the endothelial cells of coronaries release the endothelin but it does not lead to bronchodilatation it results in bronchoconstriction adrenaline noradrenaline and dopamine acts through seven pass receptor or serpentine receptor or g protein coupled receptor Lipolysis modified beta 1 receptors which are called beta 3 receptors. To study the current flow across a single ion channel, patch clamp technique. Which of the following is ligand gated ion channel? It's GABA A. GABA B is 7 pass receptor, right? Which of the following is least correct for secretin? Secretin is released by the S cells in the duodenum and it does not increase the gastric acid secretion it promotes the bicarbonate rich secretion and inhibit the gastric acid secretion histamine it is found in the mast cell it increases the gastric acid secretion and it, it is uh, related to the uh, regulation of blood pressure too all of the above is correct 